Hi guys, today we will discuss another important concept of software development called as waterfall model. What is a waterfall model? The waterfall model is a sequential design process used in software development processes in which progress is seen as following steadily downwards like a waterfall through the phases of requirement analysis, design, implementation, testing, integration if there is any subsystem, deployment and maintenance. From this figure you can also notice that phases or progress is moving downwards like the next phase cannot start until unless the previous phase not finished. The phases of waterfall model are as follows. <coughs> Requirement get gathering and analysis in this phase basically the vendor side sit with the customer and study the objectives and requirements of customer and document it. The main deliverable of this phase is basically a specification document. On the basis of that specification document a design document made basically the vendor converts the requirements of a customer to different modules and prepare a basic level of design called as design document. On the basis of design document the next phase is basically implementation in which we do all types of coding and making tables in database so there this phase is called as implementation. After finishing this phase of implementation, the next phase starts as testing phase in which the QA team do the QA of the end product. After successful completion of testing, the next phase starts as deployment of a system on basically the production or do installation of software at customer side. After successful completion of deployment and go live, the next phase starts as maintenance phase in which basically the vendor provides all types of necessary support to customer. You can notice from this figure that all phase mo and progress is basically in the downward di direction. There is no movement in the upward direction. So basically this is the main feature or main specification of waterfall model. The advantages of waterfall model are as follows. This model is simple and easy to understand and use. It is easy to manage due to the rigidity of the model. Each phase has a specific deliverables and review process. In this model phases are processed and completed one at a time phases do not overlap. Waterfall model works well for smaller projects where requirements are very well understood. There are many disadvantages of waterfall model as well. Once an application is in the testing stage it is very difficult to go back and change something that was not well thought out in the conceptual stage. No working software is produced until late during the life cycle. High amount of risk and uncertainty involved in this type of model. Not a good model for complex and object oriented projects. Poor model for long and ongoing projects and totally not recommended. Not suitable for the projects where requirements are at a moderate to high risk of changing. So that's all from my side. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel or like my video and share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any question which you want to ask from me, please comment on this video. Thanks a lot for your time.